You know, folks, I want you to note that my no elevator experiments are just simply to fulfill my own curiosity and then present the results to you for your entertainment. You know, so if you're going to try this, I'd point out that I would couple my elevators with the vectored thrust from now on. So then I can do wild maneuvers in the sky, yet still be able to glide back with a dead stick or a low battery if the motor slows or stops. You see, when the motor stops, you've got no elevator. So if you panic easy, or unless you're very experienced with using the throttle as an elevator, your jet may end up in a disaster zone. I did these mods in my Concept X with no elevator just to see if I could do it like I did on my Raptor. And if it works, I'm going to try it on my Meteor. Hello folks and welcome to Mr. Herbert Science Class. Many of you saw me fly my Raptor where I changed and I put a rudder vector thrust and elevator vector thrust and no elevators whatsoever. Well, I've taken my old Concept X, both these from Nitro Planes. This one is the one that I put the German motor in that was in my Phantom. You might have seen me adjust the mailbox with that one. Anyway, this is real simple. You can do it to almost all your duck fans and uh, really makes it a lot better at low speed. Okay, this works nice and freely now, as you see. Um, just don't want to block this hole in here. Take it out and give it a shot. You know, this plane has always been difficult to fly because there's just so little wing area that it has to be going really fast to fly and to land. It's just simply important for me not to shut the motor off. I have it set at high idle though, so it is always spinning. But again, the elevator or not, this plane's got to be landed fast or it's just going to fall out of the sky like a brick. I can also tell you that this plane is very difficult to see, red being one of the hardest to see in the sky. That sucker is fast. This thing needs parachute and brakes. <laughs> well, my final comments are this. If you're going to try it, make sure you don't plug up that exhaust hole too much. And make sure you don't shut that motor off if you're going to do no elevator like I did. Because it's best to mix the thrust and the elevator together in conjunction. But I'm going to do that with my Meteor. So please stay tuned. And please, as I've said before, please forgive me for being unable to answer the private messages. And uh, good day and happy flying. <laughs>